Lateral or longitudinal oscillation of the fuselage in a hover, often caused by over control of pilot input. Let's take a quick look at our principle, which is the source of a lot of frustration for most people as they learn to hover. A helicopter is suspended from a single point, the main rotor. Therefore, it's free to oscillate laterally or longitudinally as a pendulum. To prevent this pendulous movement, the pilot should move the controls smoothly and anticipate what the control movements will do to avoid over-controlling the helicopter. It's possible to over-control as there is a slight delay from control input by the pilot to the wanted outputs made by the control surfaces. It's important to note that there is a difference in the amount of pendular action between a semi-rigid system and a fully articulated system. Because of the hard connection of the fully articulated system, the centrifugal force pulling out on the blades is transferred to the fuselage and the fuselage tends to follow the rotor attitude. Pendulum action is also more likely to occur in a teetering rotor system due to the slower control response times. Rigid rotor systems have the quickest response times and with the least amount of pendular action. In summary, the main cause of pendulous motion in a helicopter is the pilot. Stay smooth but firm on the controls, especially the cyclic, to avoid flying like an oversized pendulum with a fan.